Connecting the Dots, Smart Account and Smart Licensing Learning Series. This video provides an overview of virtual accounts and the steps to create a virtual account and add users to one. So, what is a virtual account? In simple terms, it's a subfolder within a smart account that helps you manage all of your Cisco licenses, devices, services, and subscriptions. There is no limit to the number of virtual accounts you can have in your smart account, but you are limited to no more than 10 layers of subfolders in each virtual account. When a smart account is created, the default virtual account is automatically created. Why should you use virtual accounts? Virtual accounts easily allow you to organize and manage your devices and licenses. You can grant management rights to users within the virtual account, control access and assign users to specific accounts, and categorize licensing and devices by your organizational needs. Use virtual accounts to manage and structure your smart account. We recommend the following options for structuring your virtual accounts. By region or geographic location, by users or groups, by organizational departments or reporting structures, by technology group, or by business functions. Note, if you do not assign licenses to a virtual account, they will be assigned to the default virtual account. Let's take a look at some virtual account best practices. You should create and organize your virtual accounts in the way that best suits your business needs. Always assign orders to smart account and a virtual account, and use virtual accounts to control access for licenses. Users in a virtual account can only access the licenses available in the virtual account assigned to them. Here are some important things to remember about virtual accounts. Only smart account administrators can add, edit, or delete new top-level virtual accounts. Only virtual account administrators can add, edit, or delete the subfolders to their respective virtual accounts. The commerce access level of a virtual account can be set to public or private. Public accounts will appear in search results of the Cisco Commerce tool, and private virtual accounts will not. Now let's walk through the creation of a virtual account. First, log into ciscosoftware.com to enter Cisco Software Central. Navigate to the Administration section and click Manage Smart Account. You will see tabs at the top of the screen based on the role you have been assigned. Click on the Virtual Account tab. In the Virtual Accounts tab, click Create Virtual Account. In the pop-up window, enter the name and description and choose the access level for the account. In the pop-up, you can also choose to put your new virtual account beneath another virtual account that you have access to. By default, the selection for new virtual account is at the top level, directly beneath the smart account. You can also choose an existing virtual account as the parent account. If you don't want to put the new virtual account under another virtual account, choose at top level. You can also assign any virtual account tags that you would like associated with the virtual account. Click Next. You now have the option to add users. Note, some users are going to have access to this account because they will inherit access from a parent account. You can skip adding new users for now to create the virtual account. Click Next. Review the virtual account settings here. To finish, click Create Virtual Account. After creation, the new virtual account will appear as either a top-level virtual account or beneath the account selected during creation. You can sort the list by virtual account name or access level and can search by virtual account name. To edit any of the attributes assigned during creation of the account, simply click the name of the virtual account and a pop-up will appear. After making changes, click OK. Now you can add users to your newly created virtual account. Navigate to the Users tab. You will see all the virtual accounts you have access to. By default, users with admin access and parent access will have access to virtual accounts added as subfolders to their respective virtual accounts. To add additional users, select the New Users button. In the pop-up window, enter the email or Cisco ID of the user or users you want to provide access to, and click Add. Confirm this is the correct user, and then click Next. Each new user must be assigned a role and access level. Virtual account users can have one of two roles, virtual account administrator or a virtual account user. Virtual account users cannot add new users or create new subfolders, and can only access licenses within their assigned virtual account. The access level will determine if the user will have access only to the selected virtual account or inherit access to all subfolder virtual accounts as well. After choosing the virtual account role and access, click Next. Review and confirm the virtual account and role, then click Add a User. Success! 
Now you know how to create virtual accounts and add new users to the virtual accounts. Remember, partners can also be added to virtual accounts to help you manage your licenses and devices. For more details, visit www.cisco.com slash go slash smart accounts.